Longbeard's our guide today. We're out here with Longbeard Outfitters. These guys are no joke. Just getting ready and make sure everything is up to par so when the birds start coming in, that they come in the way we want them. I'm amped. We already hear geese in the distance. This could be a freaking crazy moment. Since I've been growing up, I've been going out hunting with my stepdad and his group. And I was always a little retriever. I was scaring the birds up for them. I just got into liking hunting so much that I started my own business. And now I mostly do it with just friends and family. I still guide the odd time. And uh, yeah, that's what got me into hunting. And now it's just my passion and love it. I'm a turkey guy. I, we went out with buddies. I never shot a turkey. And then high school, they took me out. And since that day, I've been hooked. When I heard that rumble of uh, Tom gobbling beside me and just like the, the thump off the chest, that was game over. Canada is, it's, I like it. It's almost when you go out, you know you're gonna shoot because you scout the day before, so it's fun for that. And when there's less, like the ducks are not in yet, you go, the Canadas are here, so it's always fun. Last night my scouting was good. I was happy with what I seen. And going into this morning, I knew it was gonna be overcast, rain, and I knew the birds were gonna come in. We're out here today with Longbeard. Longbeard's our guide today. We linked up with him from uh, the donation to Fishing for Autism with Katie. So we're thankful that he brought us out today. So we're out here in a cornfield, fresh cut. We got a ton of goose decoys. Birds are already in there moving. We're hearing them above us. It's gonna be a good morning. We're almost set up. It's uh, probably half hour to shooting light. Well, the wind's coming east, so it's gonna be sideways this morning. So we're gonna kind of do a U sideways. So when they come in, they'll be coming right in the pocket from the side. So we're gonna just follow his lead. That's all we can do right now. He's the boss, he's the chief. We're just out here to run the race, that's it. So 5.30, we got to the field, and we had a bunch of decoys to set up. We had a bunch of Bigfoot geese decoys. We had some avian geese decoys as well. We mixed in some snow geese into there. We had some ducks, we had some mallard mojos. All sorts of decoys went into this spread, and we made a giant V shape to start with. They also had these like A-frame style blinds and they brushed them in with the grass that grows naturally in the brush pile that we were hiding in. Just getting ready and make sure everything is up to par so when the birds start coming in that they come in the way we want them. I have to cover up the bottom a bit more because the geese, they can see your hand, they can see your eyeballs from the sky so you really have to be covered up. So basically I'm just going to make it a little bit shorter here so that we can just hide in here and pop right up and shoot them in the field there. <laughs> Thank God for, for Longbeard and Phil for yeah. bringing us out here. It's looking very promising. We already hear geese in the distance. These guys are no joke. They are set to kill. We got geese moving already. It's not even legal light. It's not even close to legal light, I don't think. I think we got a half hour to legal light. Like we were plenty early this morning and these geese are already off the water and in the air. This could be a freaking crazy morning. Take it, take it, take it. Down she goes. Take him. Let's go! Oh. We shoot him good! <laughs> yes! All right, so the boys worked her in pretty good there. Well, we got one solo came in. Pretty sure we just brought her right down. And then two more came flying in. Boys worked them in real well. Whole crew took the shot, birds down. Got ourselves a no fly zone. Yeah. 
Eight. 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 Okay, ready? Take them. Yes, oh. man. <laughs> Destroy. <laughs> I was hoping not too much rain. We got lucky with that. It was a bit cloudy. That was a good win. It's birds we don't always understand. So they were supposed to come sideways. They kind of came from the front a bit. We had to change the setup three times. But normally when you, you go for Canada's, they're gonna land in the pockets. So you try to do a U or a V or sometimes even a J. They'll land in the wind. So let's say they're coming from the side. You do your V or your U so they come in the pocket. This morning, they didn't want to do it. We have to change it a bit, but it's part of the game. Take him! Nice! Nice shoot, boy! <laughs> <laughs> nice! All right, so we're just going out picking up all the geese, and uh, I think we're 10 down now. It's uh, 10 flights canceled. Yeah, I know. Go! Holy Good. shit! Look at the one going down there, guys. He's got a busted wing. See that? Take him. Ho ho ho! Let's go, dude. Where are they? Take him. Let's go! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Shit! Oh man! Every time, dude. Every time it just gets me, man. Oh yeah. These guys here. Go 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 go! Oh, fifty feet! I see. Go go baby! Go go go! The wind? Oh yeah, we got. Take 
Let's go, dude. Take him. Wanna take him? Not even nine can come in and out. Damn, put it on the birds today. We're canceling all flights. That was it. We canceled a lot of flights. It's a lot of work, just... That's why I like taking out a lot of guys, because it's a lot of work right now with a three-man limit to set up, and you're limited out in no time. The bigger the group, the better at this time of year. I didn't know when we were going to finish, but I knew last night when I seen the field that it was going to be a good day. And it, it happened a lot sooner than what I thought. I thought we'd be there until 9.30, 10, but we were done before 9. So yeah, it was a good day. Probably my best hunt this year. This was our first hunt with Longbeard Outfitters, and I'm sure it won't be our last. This was a memorable hunt. I won't be forgetting this anytime soon. It was hard to beat this day, like 33 geese in a matter of a couple hours. Like that's just insane. If you guys are looking for a guided hunt in Maxville, Ontario, you know who to call. It's Longbeard Outfitters. He will get you on the geese. Give him a call, tell him TCG sent you, and you won't be disappointed. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you got any questions or concerns, leave a comment below because we love hearing from you guys. And if you ain't subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe because we're dropping videos every Sunday. Thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.